welcome back to another video today. We are on the beach again. First time back in a little bit, so we'll see if we can't get on some fish here. Pilcher drop real close. There we go. Grab the ones we want. Let the rest of them off. Still right there. So much seaweed. A lot. Here's a little one. Yeah, it is. There's so much weed. See, that's your slot fish in season. Possible. It's a possible slot. Oh. Yeah, he's small. Where's where that? Where's that uh. his fin go? He's got no fin over there. Swallowed that hook a little bit. There we go. There he is, probably 26 inches. Gonna get on him before season starts. A little pre-fishing. Haven't been here in a few weeks. Get one real quick. Where's Chris? Oh! That's a bigger fish. Look at those boils. Oh. Gotta go in the seaweed here. I mean, in the ocean, because all the seaweed caught up along the beach. So if all that gets on your line, you're fighting the fish, and 50 pounds of seaweed it doesn't work out. It's a big fish. There's so many crabs out. Oh, fighting this fish in waist deep water. See, he's all the way up in that seaweed. Now, if I was on the beach pulling him this way, the seaweed stacked up along the shore, so I'd just be carrying all that in. So if I pull the, my rod to the right here, I'll pull him away from the seaweed. How big is he, Chris? Yeah, he's right here. How big is he? Twenty pound liter. That's all I got on here. It's like thread. See the seaweed clumped up on my line. No good. As he goes to the seaweed. Pull him the other way. Get him out of there. Turn his head. See here how he comes. See here how he comes. I don't know how that makes any sense. All right, here he comes. Here he is. He's right here. He's right here. Oh boy, that's a brute. That's a big fucking fish. That's a big boy, big girl. I'm all up in that seaweed though. Oh, come here. Going in for the kill? No, no. He's not happy in there. He ain't happy, he's not happy. All this seaweed, I'm in the seaweed. No! Come here, you moose. You moose. I'm freaking out right now. This is a big fish. This is a really nice fucking fish. Excuse my language. All right, we got him out. We got him out. Now we can loosen up on the drag just a little bit. Because this is a good, this is a really good fish. If I can just get him to pull in here. See, he's still going. He's not happy. Oh, here we go. No seaweed right here. Come on. Come on, Bertha. Ah, he's running again. Spin him around. Here we go. So much seaweed, it's so heavy. No, he's on there. 
This is a big fish for sure. I'm gonna have to work with it. He's about to give up. Here he comes. He's coming in. Being so loose on this drag. Really loose on the drag. Still running. Still running. What's happening is I can't gain, I can't pull that fish directly straight up. When I put my rod tip up, that line's going straight down to the seaweed, straight to the fish. So it's just trying to pull it sideways instead of getting his head out of the water so I can actually gain line on him. That's the hardest part about this. Just do us all a huge favor right now. Just go subscribe. Just hit the button. If you guys like watching this, go subscribe because the mullet run's going to be even crazier and you're not going to want to miss it. I, oh yeah, there he is. I see his tail. He's right here. He's right there. Come here. fish not so much fat but that is a really long fish and if I'm not mistaken this looks like a lot like the fish you caught really that's a mega that's a giant let's see what we got here that's a mega jack put that Yo. there he's right here he's probably two inches shy of that gold ring right at the eyelid all right, we're gonna let this nice fish go. Seems like he's spawned out, so she did her job this year. Let this beautiful fish go. High 30s. Oh, look at that. We did a little underwater revive job here. important to get a really good revive job on these fish. That fish probably caught for a solid five minutes. Take your time with them. I mean, these fish are really the future of our snook fishery, so take your time. Make sure he's really ready to go. There you go. There you go. Let's see how big this fish was. Right to the butt. That fish was like 37, 36 and a half inches. Nice fish. Not a bad way to start. I don't know what this is. Wacky. This is a really nice snook. Really nice snook or a piece of mine type. Really nice snook or a jack. Keep the rod up. Keep the rod up. Keep the rod up. <laughs> real, real, real. John, how does it feel to be featured in a Barb's Dozen YouTube channel? Finally. Let him run, let him run. Oh, I see him, I see him. So John just hooked up to a nice nice fish. I don't know what it's it his is. First, his first beach fish right here. He's doing pretty good on the rod. He's, he's working him, he's working him. The fish took off like crazy. It seemed like a huge fish in the beginning. But, you want to the drag a little bit. now John, he's gonna, he's gonna crush him now. John's hooked up to a snook, baby. His first snook off the beach. No drone this time, he's just casting it out. Felt the bite, stuck him. Yeah? yeah. He's got him. Woo. There you go, John. That's a slot, slot snook right there, John. It. That's good eats. There, hey, just pull it all up. That's your eating size fish. Oh my God, look how we hooked him. Not even in the mouth, like in the gill plate. In the corner. Oh. Perfect slot, 32. 32. Hey. A week too early. To explain your feelings. No, no, John needs to explain the feelings. I feel like I w just won a million bucks. <laughs> hey, there you go, John's first. Beach snook, so awesome, so badass, great fight. You worked him, you worked him, baby. He's off? Yeah, he's off. Swam off like a champ. 
Good stuff, John. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude. It's sweet. John's first snuck on the beach. That's awesome. That's what we love to do. All right, guys. Well, that was one heck of a day fishing. <clears throat> we caught three nice snook just shy before snook season. We got about like a week and a half before season opens back up. So hopefully at that time we're going to catch a nice slot snook. Have a nice catch and cook for you guys. It's going to be delicious. Can't wait for that. But uh, if you really, if you like these videos, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn those post notifications on because it helps us out a lot. We got a lot of awesome drone fishing videos coming and more with the pond. So stay tuned for all that and I'll see you guys in the next video.